Ladies and gentlemen, Fortnite Season 4 is only a couple days away, and in this video, I'm going to be covering all the information we know so far leading into the brand new season. If you're excited for this video and the new Fortnite season, drop a like on this video and please click subscribe, guys. We just passed 1,000 subscribers, and it's honestly insane. My next goal is 2,000, so let's hit it fast. And for those of you asking about my support a creator code, Epic Games is currently reworking their application process for the support a creator code, so I cannot get one yet. I've been in touch with Epic Games and I haven't heard anything yet, so pretty much all I can do is wait, and guys, I will definitely let you know when I do get this code. All right, so hopping straight into the video, we have some awesome news for today. Thor's hammer is on the map, that is right. So the rift appeared just next to Salty Springs up in the sky, and right below that is a crater on the ground. Guys, I talked about this in a video a couple weeks back. You can click the tag on the screen right here, and guess what? I was right. Thor's hammer is right there, and currently you can't really do anything you can just walk up to it it's unbreakable and it's got a pretty decent sized crater just like the ones from the movies so we got our first official teaser for the new season a few days back and take a look at it on screen right here it says fortnite but in the text is some weird comic strip and well if you guys take a look at the battle pass screen right now in fortnite go to the bottom right and take a look there is a comic book that you can click on all right so the first one is asgard city of the gods kingdom of thor two weeks so this one was given out to us two weeks before the new season and you can see the rainbow bridge that fortnite actually tweeted out with emojis they used a hammer a lightning bolt and the rainbow bridge obviously the hammer and the lightning represents thor and then the rainbow represents the rainbow bridge so moving on to the next strip it had been only two weeks since Thor, the once prince of Asgard and god of thunder, had been crowned king of the golden city in his father's stead. When Galactus, devourer of worlds, crashed into his home, desperate and beaten and in need of help. Two weeks as king before Galactus told him of the coming of the black winter, of the death of all things. Of the existence of five special planets that, when consumed, would give Galactus the strength to push the winter back. Basically like Thanos when he gets all the Infinity Stones, so this dude is very powerful. To prevent its gnawing shadow from falling across the whole of reality. And so, two weeks into burying his father's crown and throne, Thor took a new title and rose. As the new Herald of Thunder, as seen in Thor 2020. So basically, the new Thor skin coming out in the next season is going to be related to the comic books, kind of like the one shown here. Together, Thor and Galactus successfully discovered one of the five planets. And after Thor evacuated the planet's inhabitants via the Bifrost, the Rainbow Bridge of Asgard. So the Bifrost is the thing we saw in the Captain America trailer that allows Thor to actually like put people into portals and teleport them to different locations. Galactus consumed the planet's energies and they journeyed on to find the rest. But then, in the distance, in a moment existing between seconds, something else appeared. Far, far beyond the fields we know. So this picture right here is actually the rift in Fortnite. So obviously Galactus is trying to get to the Fortnite map and Thor is trying to send us a message that we need to fight back. There, the power, infinite. I cannot escape its pull. If I feed on this, there will be nothing that can Galactus know. Okay, so Galactus is on the left. Thor is actually working together with him. But Galactus is trying to get into this rift. And Thor is telling him not to because he's going to destroy everything. I must have it. Galactus will feed. You forget yourself, Galen. We have a mission. You cannot. No time. Have to warn them before he gets to them. Have to. The island close to zero. Guys, that is very important. If you don't remember from Season X, the zero point that actually blew up the entire map. Obviously, its presence is still here and Galactus wants it. He can feel it at once. The King of Thunder as he soars above this strange and vibrant land. So that is the Fortnite map. Obviously, you can see Lazy Lake to the right. Looks kind of weird, but remember, this is a comic strip, so everything's hand-drawn. Life. Hello and well met, stranger, I mean you no harm. So Thor is now on the Fortnite map and he scared away poor baby Meow Skulls and the Fortnite characters remember since this whole thing is a simulation, they cannot understand what he's saying because they cannot reply. 
because when you're in this Fortnite simulation, you, your memory basically gets wiped and you don't know anything. I am Thor, King of Asgard. I come in peace. Please tell me, what is this place? Where am I? And then he said, enough. And he is now going back, but it looks like he did leave his hammer. Something is coming. Something none of you will be able to defeat without my help. For I am the God of Thunder, King of Asgard. I am. And then the Kaboom, because that's where the crater is currently on the Fortnite map. So now that the comic strip is out of the way, and it's obviously, guys, it's not over yet because it says to be continued, and the story just ends abruptly as of now. So we know for this brand new season, it's obviously going to be Marvel. We all know that by now because all the teasers say Marvel. There's a whole comic book, Thor's Hammer's on the map. So these Battle Pass skins are actually going to be Marvel. Not gonna, It's not going to be like the secret skin like this season and the last season with Deadpool and Aquaman where you have to unlock the secret skin. These skins are going to be incorporated into the Battle Pass, which they've never done before because they usually just do their own Fortnite characters. So I'm honestly really excited for this. I really cannot wait to see how this turns out. And talking about POIs in the new season, I'm 99% sure there's going to be an Asgard because, I mean, it makes sense because the whole season is based off of Thor and Marvel and it says Asgard in the comics. So that would be honestly insane if they added an Asgard location in season four. So just a quick recap of everything we know, Galactus is trying to enter the Fortnite world to do something with the zero point, which is obviously very dangerous. It blew up the chapter one map. So if Galactus does make it to the Fortnite map, which honestly, I think it could happen at the end of season four, it could be like the end of season live event. And if he does get to this, well then pretty much this map is gone too. So it would lead into the next chapter. I know Cypher PK talked about this in a video that this could be the last season of this chapter which is very quite possible because the zero point is coming back into play since everyone on the fortnite map has no clue what's going on they have no memory they cannot talk thor is trying to communicate with them to let them know galactus is trying to come i have no clue what's going to happen because good luck getting everyone on the fortnite map to understand thor and that this thing is trying to kill them so who knows what's going to happen with that but we will find out obviously in the future of fortnite with the whole storyline so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this read through of the comic book and explanation of everything happening in this season leading up to the next one. I'm really excited. If you guys are, be sure to drop a like on the video and please subscribe guys. My next goal is 2000. Let's try and hit it as soon as possible. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.